y'all it's Christine so I just wanted to put another video up yesterday I put one out about my weight loss journey and my haircut and growing back my glory process so to speak um, today I'm going to talk about makeup and wearing my mask and the Lord removing that I, for those of you who don't know me, I used to have a Heart for Him YouTube channel where I would um, put up prophetic words, visions, dreams, um, etc. to prepare the body of Christ for the soon return of the Lord and to encourage, comfort, and strengthen those within the bride that, um, you know, we are to live uh, this day with that day in mind. Uh, as my other um, husband quotes it so well. Um, so I wanted to just read real quick what delight yourself in the Lord is now. Encouraging sisters, wives, and mothers to delight themselves in the Lord and how to live now while keeping a constant focus on the kingdom to come. Okay. Um, so I removed all those videos. I had my weight loss journey up there. I um, ended that after 13 months of um, removing sugars from my diet and then dairy and breads and pastas and meats. I finished it off with a 40-day juice fast as um, the Spirit had given me the grace to do so. And um, I, I took those all down um, I, I can answer any questions about what um, our Heavenly Father has brought me through and where he's brought me to, but I had those intermingled with the old prophetic uh, words and messages, and it just seems jumbled, and I wanted to have a clean, fresh start on this channel. So again, um, for any of y'all who have any questions or you're like, what about that old word? You know, maybe I can look back in my journals and... Um, you know, scribe something out for you again, or, um, you know, make a video to answer that question. I don't know. You know, we can talk offline. You can, um, email me here through, um, delight yourself in the Lord and we can, uh, communicate that way. But right now I just, I wanted to, um, start over, you know, this is, this is a, a new season. And so it's more about testifying about who Jesus is, his faithfulness in my life personally, and um, how he turns, um, you know, ashes into beauty and takes this mess and <clears throat> makes a, you know, marvelous masterpiece for God's glory. Okay, so this is what I posted today. Okay, this was me, I couldn't figure out, like five or six years ago, I wrote, another thing the Lord did is to help me remove my mask from my face. Y'all remember when I used to wear so much makeup? It was a cover up because I was not only hiding with weight, but along with that, didn't want anyone to see into me. I was fearful of exposing the true me. Now I know that who I am is who father made me to be. So there's no reason to hide or to try to put on a different persona of someone I am not when I got married, I wasn't this big. Um, but my marriage has been that safe place to just unleash and pretty much unravel, um, so that the Lord could reconstruct me once he, he broke down those places, uh, within me that were not good for me and were actually harming me. And so, um, I'd gained the weight. We learned that that was, you know, a food addiction. I was using that as a symptom for, heart hurts and, um, et cetera. So <clears throat> my mask was also doing the same. I was hiding and I felt like if I put on a lot of makeup that nobody would, would see that, you know, that was really this fearful, sensitive, um, soul inside. The Lord told me one time that I would wear my mascara. I mean, you can't really see here too much, but I have a, like a long lashes and he said I would wear my mascara like a peacock to just ward off people, you know, to intimidate them, um, to, to keep them at a distance, you know? So anyway, that was that post. Um, and then this is me today, literally today. I don't know today's date. Let me look up here. Um, what March 9th, uh, 2017. 
Is it March 9th? I don't know. Anyway, and one more. <clears throat> this is why I wrote me today, 2017. The essence of my real nature, raw and bare, I lay before you. Please understand that I just posted these memories of past pictures because Aaron and I thought it was important to take a trip down memory lane to see how far the Lord has brought us as well as remember what all he's carried out through us and carried us through. We've had personal and individual trials to walk in, um, to walk through within our nine and a half years together, but we know that our marriage was that refuge to learn how to love and forgive unconditionally as we grow simultaneously. Iron sharpens iron, as the word says. We both agree that we have gone further side by side than we ever could have alone. This is is God's will for us to ultimately give our heavenly father the most glory with our lives as possible. So please don't ever look at us like we have it all figured out because we sure don't, but we do have Jesus who is faithful and true to his promises. When you follow him, therefore may these stream of posts be a blessing to those who take the opportunity to view them. You can clearly see how Jesus turns beauty to ashes, heals, delivers, nurses his patients back to life from the old sin nature's patterns of death, loves us, pours out his grace upon us, trains us, counsels us, comforts us, and more. Please trust him to do the same for you, starting where you're at this day. We love you, and we were called to help others through the process. I mean, that's discipleship after all. And for those of you who know us, we have a discipleship ministry, Seasons of Life Ministries. You can look it up online. It's, um, you know, just making disciples and that has been our full-time job. Obviously I'm also a wife, um, a, a homemaker, a homeschool mom, um, you know, a friend, sister, etc. But yes, um, we, we were called to, uh, be there for others. And, um, I used to be a soldier from 17 to 21. It's like the term, um, get in there as their, as their battle buddy, you know, when, when someone in uh, the army and basic training, uh, or advanced individual training, when you were d doing your, you know, um, exercises, your PT, if you were like doing sit-ups and the, the, your partner couldn't do any more sit-ups, like you would interlock arms with them and then like, be like, come on. And then you would use your abdominal strength to like pull them back up and just like give them, you know, that extra boost and same thing with running. Like if, if we were running ahead and our, our um, battle buddy fell behind, you know, you'd have to circle back around and, you know, run by them and just like motivate them and be like, come on, you got this, you know, let's go. And so that's, that's how God uses us to just blow wind into their cells. It's his Ruach. It's his Holy spirit. It's not us. We're just, you know, um, available vessels. So anyway, again, I hope this blesses somebody and, uh, yeah, I'm in it with you.